Hey, Lou. Oh, God, that was super loud. I got my thing. <laughs> oh, Ex- man. Oh, man. Oh, look at you backing up the intro. Hey, my bad. Oh, <laughs> hey. Well, look, we a little rusty. We're just a little out of, out of sync. But it's all good, though, because we are here and accounted for. We are Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J67. I am T Jones, and I'm glad to be back. I'm I'm not sure. I know you're glad to be back, but I'm really glad oh, yeah. to be back. It's been a while, and we got a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, all my sugar sat at the bottom of my coffee, so I was wondering why it wasn't super sweet. It just and sat here. Hit. Don't you hate yeah, that? It, <laughs> bro, I hate it because I felt like I was doing something good. I was like, oh, clearly I didn't put in a lot of sweetener in there. I'm having fun. Let me get you know? And then, boop, nope, sock you in the face with sugar. Uh-huh. Um, but but seriously, folks, like, I'm I'm excited to be here. You know me, man. I'm doing a million and a half different things on this damn internet. No. I wish I was doing it more consistently. Uh, like, actually, I started streaming on uh, Caffeine. Ah, uh, oh, you went to Caffeine. How's that? Now, let me tell you guys. I'm what, Okay, so I'm going to say this here, and I don't care who hears it, because what I've learned is no matter what advice you give people, there's only like half of 1% of people will actually do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody's doing YouTube videos on caffeine. No, well, what? No, 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 no. The place, yeah. No, not, not like upload. Like literally, there's. I think I've seen four videos about cat like experiences and whatnot while streaming on caffeine. Mm-hmm. Like you know how there's a million and a half tutorials for Twitch. There's yeah. a million and a half. Oh, you should do this. How oh, do you use caffeine? There, none. Yeah, I've never found like there's only two things I found empty niches for. So far, it's been talking about caffeine on YouTube, and then correct me if I'm wrong. Drop some links. Let me know below. And then also, uh, videos discussing lit RPGs, literary role playing game books. Mm-hmm. None. And these are two things that I partake in that I feel like I need to jump on. So because I can me- go ahead. No, I was well, I was getting ready to to say, since you're on there, how did you figure out how to start streaming on there? Now, or, that's this the is cool caffeine thing we're of, talking about. This is caffeine. So the cool thing about caffeine and I'm not a partner or anything. I have my first time. I've only streamed two hours and like 30 minutes on there so far, mm-hmm. which was last week. OK. I normally stream Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I'm going to start streaming Tuesdays. Um, But the point I was bringing up is it's very simple. Caffeine is the bare bones what Twitch is, but in the best way possible. So for one, you you don't search for games. You search people. Everything is people oriented. Mm. It is um, so you don't go on there and type in, "Oh, I want to see Overwatch." That's not how it goes down. Mm-hmm. You go on and you'll it'll run you through a list a bunch of stuff, and so it'll have like a main page. It's kind of wonky, but it's clear as day what you're getting into. And then um, it it's not divvied up like they have subsections, like whatever's popular. That's what it'll be in the subsection wise. Like you'll see. Uh, like one day I seen Age of Empires or something like that, like something random. Yeah. But for the most part, it's all people based, and it's a sim, and it's not CPU heavy, bro. Oh, it's not. It is. So- oh my. What is God, the quality is- like though? It is a one. It's one to one ratio. Okay. So as I'm talking to you right now, this is how you would see. You get it. it, yeah. I it's one to one ratio, very low latency, not heavy on the CPU. It is. Stupid. So, like I was, like somebody was. I was in a party with somebody who was also watching me, mm-hmm. and they were they had to mute one of us, either the party or the game, because it was so close. Yeah, and there was no delay. So they were hearing doubles. They were hearing double, mm. and which you know you streamed on you stream on Twitch. Yeah. You know the latency, the the uh delay cra- is anywhere from five to ten seconds. Man, it's crazy. You can. Uh, I think uh, I was, I just was, um, this probably like a month ago, I was watching a video on that, like how to get it back right. But a lot of people would say you want that delay because of certain, you know, out of hand features, streams, sn- it help with stream sniping, you know, it, stuff like that. So now um, some people want and, it, 
But if it's one to one, stretch fresh out the gate, and it's not heavy on your CPU, those are pluses that I like. I'm like hearing now, and that's what that's the reason I'm telling you. Yeah, it it's it's such a trip because people um like I got on there. And it's a real warm, welcoming community. One, I didn't know it's been around for about two years now. It's yeah. been around for a while. But the fact that it's been around for about two years, and I can count how many videos came out in 2020 about it, lets me know that it is seriously untapped territory. And it's in a way... And then what's making it, what made me confident in jumping on it was... The fact of the names that are behind it, you got FaZe Clan, you got Offset, mm -hmm. you got Drake, you got Doja Cat, you got... Um, it, yeah, it's... but you... Okay, so you're getting into something that um, I think it's it's a good conversation to have because uh, a lot of these people you're naming, like, for example, FaZe, I don't think they're locked into anything. They, they started off on YouTube. Um, so they, I don't think they're locked into a specific no, no, streaming no. place, but they're where, a big branch of their phase clan is on there. I think yeah. it's Atlanta flip phase or something like that. Yeah. So they're, that's their call of duty league team. And, um, so they, they probably got signed in that, but to piggyback off what you were saying, the first, I heard about, uh, caffeine to like last year and how I heard about it was the game actually, he does, he has his own like show or he sponsors something with it. So what happens on there is he goes and he plays somebody, he plays a, another artist, somebody in the industry in a game of Madden or 2K or whatever. Uh -huh. And there's He's a big he, in the Madden community. Yeah, he was ranked and he I was think he played against, I think Ant played against him before. I'm like sure. people, people have played, like I know people who that played him. That yeah. Girl. That's how in the community he is. Matter of fact, yeah. my uncle played him in or play was on the you know how they have the court on two K uh -huh. where you can wait to play. He was standing on the court when he was there and took a screenshot and sent it to me. And I was like, It's your time to shine. And he, like, he didn't say that. Exactly. But um he was the first person I heard on that platform. I never really paid attention to it. I watched a few of the, the shows that came out. Obviously they came out on YouTube. Watch now, them on YouTube. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you. before I forget, because you know I get sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should check it out simply for the fact that they got a big battle rap community. Yeah. So you that's big, I was gonna get into that. Okay. You are real just community. signed a contract with yep, them. Yep. And what I they're watch them. and what they're doing is they're they're bringing specific events and specific videos to the caffeine platform that you won't be able to find anywhere else, not on their app, not on you, uh, YouTube. And they've started to try to make that transition as YouTube secondary. So this is, mm -hmm. how I knew it was something because he, uh, URL, which is the number one source of battle rap in, I don't care what nobody say because they were pretty Facts. much, you know, the number one guys. Uh, there's other people out there. I'm not knocking them, but you know, gotta gotta give you that disclaimer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they decide to go to caffeine, and they're starting events for it. They're putting out content for it. They're doing trailers for it, and then they're putting them put on you YouTube. On, oh, go let ahead. Let me put you on this. Yeah. Just uh, I want to say maybe like three or four days ago, I wa I tuned into the show, and they were on there doing who's who, um they were doing comparison or uh what imaginary show? competitions. The URL dude or whoever, um, that channel. Okay. They were sitting there, they were running like a podcast. Yeah. And they were sitting there rattling names off and it was a whole panel of people or, um, you only seen one guy, but it was a panel of people talking and they would throw two names, two rappers out there and they'd be like, well, who would win and why? And they just like, it, they Ooh, was just having yeah. that type of, they, yeah, they do that a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But let me. But I let just me downloaded you, the app right now. Okay. Cool. Let me tell you why the the number the five. I'll just say the top reasons why I enjoy it. And I've once again, folks, I've only streamed on it for two hours and maybe thirty minutes, maybe. One, I already got donations within that time frame. Mm, okay. Somebody already threw money at me. It was a small amount, but I I'm grateful for the fact that here it is. I'm new on this platform. Didn't have any followers at the time. No, I had one follower 
at the time. And I've already gotten money thrown at me in two, less than one stream. That's crazy because they and they don't have. All right, well, that's something we could talk about afterwards. But yeah, that's crazy to hear because uh, some most of the time when you on the, these smaller things or these smaller platforms, it's like, well, you know, who is just like it's unbelievable sometimes like how this stuff can happen so fast. Yeah. Like I, no. I just got on here. You don't even know me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no. And then, and also you get a vibe of comfort. Like I don't feel the need to, it's real basic folks. This, this streaming platform caffeine is super bare bones. It's like the discord of social media. Now. Yes. I know people are going to say discord's not bare bones, but in its structure, it is. When you yeah. look at what discord is, it's very, it almost looks like you're freaking writing code. Like mm -hmm. that's all it is. It's it's lines and it's names and it's talking and chat. And, you know, you can do other stuff too, but for the most part at its core, it is very simplistic. That is what caffeine is. If Twitch is the pinnacle of streaming and is, and it is complicated and it can be complicated. I would say it is caffeine, complicated. Yeah, Twitch is very complicated. Like, I'm trying to be nice. It, it's super complicated. That shit is if complicated. you want it to look like something. Yeah. Now, the dope thing about caffeine, which I'm gonna give, I'm gonna try it uh hopefully tomorrow. It automatically takes everything. Like, if I if you run the app and you're playing a game on PC, the your camera, the person watching you can move your camera however they want. Oh, really? Yeah. So whatever, at least this is on one of the old videos I saw on YouTube. Who knows what it is now? Uh -huh. But I've I've only streamed from my Xbox through OBS, which there is a caffeine OBS, which is just OB old school OBS with the caffeine edition. Um, but I want to try streaming from PC and see if all those little extra features are there. But the whole point is supposed to be bare bones, easy, clean, ready to go. And it is. Um, I jumped right in, didn't have no problems, um, wasn't a real complicated experience at all, came out crisp. I could blame that on me already being ready for Twitch's system. Um, I'm going to give this a solid, I'm going to give this a solid college try, mm -hmm. caffeine. Uh, I want to give it the same, com the same try I did with Twitch. My damn username is available. <laughs> Are you serious? So I got to put the X. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm just never uh, I'm never gonna you know what? Freak it. I'm never you, getting rid of it, man. There's... I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do is anytime a new platform jumps up and soon as the you hear X about is it, available. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to immediate like like with Byte, as soon as I found out about Byte, like as soon as I heard what it was. Uh-huh. I immediately went and set up an account. Uh, I told you I got uh, of one of my videos got uh, liked by Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, you sent me that. Me. You sent me. Does that. he follow me? I don't know. I look, no. I think he followed. I, I think it said he it, followed you. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa on Bite follows me. I feel like a legend. And then uh, Base God does follow me on Twitter. Hey, at uh, T so, Jones. you know at X T Jones. <laughs> <laughs> That's grimy, man. It did me dirty, bro. Hey, it, oh God! Uh, Why they gotta do me like that, bro? You gotta get you a shirt where it's just your arms is just crossed up, like just. And, oh and yeah, that'd be dope. And then T Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. oh, you should. The X should be your logo, like just like boom, and then T Jones. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you gotta. You know, you gotta dive into this. We gotta. We gotta own this because clearly you're always a day late. And a dollar and short when it comes to picking a damn game. dollar short, <laughs> not Bro, a dollar short, but a damn dollar, a damn dollar. <laughs> no, nah, man, but uh, but straight up, I'm I'm really I enjoy it. It um, I'm all, and then I'm tired of being late to shit. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. Like that, I don't feel late to Twitch. I feel like the way Twitch works now, Twitch has, became mainstream. Yeah, but it became not only mainstream. that. It the way you would grow in it has completely changed. If everything I was doing now on Twitch, if I would have did it when Anthony first told me to get on Twitch, which was like five, six years ago, yeah, when it first really started, 
I would have blew up. You've been popping. I'd have been fine. But the way it is now, you almost got to blow up outside of Twitch to then blow up in Twitch. Like, well, it, I mean, I don't, I don't, I think it's, I think you just have to hit that. You got to go viral. I mean, I think yeah. a lot of people that, that make success, that find success in Twitch, either they've been doing it for years and they have a cult following. Like they got, their following is so cult like that they could do anything and get away yeah. with it or not be, you know, in trouble or whatever. So I think either that or you have to like, like for like the perfect example is Ninja, man. Like, well, that let me, dude but let, been streaming on Twitch for years. Forever. And yeah, he was a nobody he, until he dove into Fortnite. Got into Fortnite, start making, and, and go back and watch all them old clips on Fortnite. Yeah. Where he just started watching the game. He was, at that point, he was the best person at the game. And yep. it just skyrocketed. And then what did he do? He became entertaining. He was always entertaining, but he really yeah. became entertaining. He, yep, he dove all the way in. And now let me and let me tell you this. I do know I will never knock. First off, you ain't gonna beat somebody who's out working you. Nope. Hell. Period. No. I'm not gonna beat the guy who's smartly putting in 20 hours a week doing this. Mm -hmm. You're not I'm never gonna beat you unless I go viral. Yep. But one let me tell you one thing I've seen a lot of is what people will do is they will grow in niche markets such as in our niche apps and areas like discord i watched a guy go into discord much love to stallion I, the dude I, I i seen it happen yeah the guy went from the guy went from diving in and out of discord streaming the dude's a hell of a gamer the dude's a hell of a personality he's amazing dude i watched i was one of the first couple names on his damn he, he does a whiteboard and he has a whiteboard and it's all like lit up and he has everybody's names and all the subscribers, yeah. which you can't even read it now because of so many so damn many people. people. Yeah. The dudes, I want to say he's top 20 in uh call of duty streamers now. Okay. Like, and you know, that's a lot to be yeah. top 20 in call of duty. On, like that's, that's on call on. He's top 20 in call of duty on Twitch. Yes. Oh, okay. It's one of the top 20 streamers. Yeah. On call of duty. Much love. The dude's a beast, but what I'm saying is, I watched that shit happen. Yeah, dude was cold as fuck with it, in the best way possible. And seeing that, the dude's now sponsored by G Fuel and everything. Like yeah. it is, it's ridiculous. Um, but the point is, and the reason I bring him up is, I seen the the one the level of commitment, and then he created his own thing. He'd have dance moments. He'd have the whiteboard. He'd have uh, lights. Like it's just so many little, just the little sprinkles on top of I'm also gaming. You know what I mean? And yeah. he he created this thing, and then he branded Stallion, horse everything, Stallion everything. You're you're a different level of this, different level of that. Like real shit. Speaking on that and rolling it over to my situation. I really believe if I would have dove in a thousand percent on uh, Mountain Blade, which is let's be real, that's the game that got me an affiliate status on Twitch. Um, I would, built a little. I, I, if I would have stayed with that, I would have a hundred percent. I think I could have made a partner. I, I mean, believe it. I think you could have too. I mean, at one point, at one point, people wasn't looking at you, and you start playing yeah. this little game that you yeah. think is little, but. No, it's funny how we got that mindset, but some of these communities are bigger than you think. Like, help! It's just it doesn't it's it just rattles me sometimes when we believe like oh ain't nobody gonna like this or ain't nobody she, gonna do she, every no, game man. I've every every game that I've ever did the best viewership on has been the game with that mentality like yeah. oh ain't nobody gonna watch. Those are the games where I've got the most viewership. Mm -hmm. But let me let me tell you with Mountain Blade. This is how, folks, this is how big that shit was. The guy I do my other podcast with, Starcross Gamers, I met him. He jumped into one of my streams while playing Mountain Blade. And now I'm doing podcasts with the guy. Yeah. He's been around. He's been in my community and he's become a friend. Years. At least three years now. Like the dude, he pulled up an old clip from like 2018. Mm-hmm. 
And this is in all Mountain Blade, all Mountain Blade, all the people I know from most of the people I met from uh, Europe, Mountain Blade. But you know what? You know what Twitch did, though, that really messed with me? And I, I hope they bring it back. And I really feel they should is communities yeah. because it made it easy. Because what I did, it was almost cheating, to be real with you. Yeah. Well, no, let me rephrase. It wasn't cheating. What I would do is I would go in. And I'd be like, okay, I'm going to play Call of Duty. I would type into communities, Call of Duty, and I would look for communities that had a small to medium viewership. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, you had the 10,000, the thousands, the, but I would find the group with like 40 people viewing in that category. Yeah. And I would go into there, and then all of a sudden, I'd catch 12. You only need 25 average to go partner. Yeah. To be recommended for it, you know what I mean. So I and that's what I would did with Mountain Blade. There was only like two or three Mountain Blade communities. I would jump right in and wear it out. I mean, I I'm looking at. I caffeine. wish they wouldn't have taken it away. I'm sorry, I ain't been really chit chatting with you, but I've been on. I've been looking at caffeine, and it doesn't seem that uh, um, you know, that crazy right now. Like you really can't find any videos on it. You really can't find. Anything Isn't it on creepy? It. So, yeah, it, it is. It's kind of scary. It's like when every hey, time, thank you. Every time I search for something on YouTube and I can't There's find a nothing on videos. it, videos. Yeah, I instantly I think of the Mandela effect. <laughs> yeah, I get scared. Like, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, folks, if you hear my voice, go on YouTube and type in caffeine streaming. And I okay, Listen let me tell you who this. you're probably looking at. Are you seeing Ashney Christ? Is it somebody named Ashney Christ? Let me go back. Oh, okay. you're talking. Oh, you talking about for the search? Yeah, for the search. Do you see somebody popped up? It's a girl, blonde chick. No, no. I I did it from Google. I haven't gone into oh. YouTube, uh, or I just clicked away from YouTube. But once I clicked yeah, on yeah. it, it wasn't really anything to. There's nothing popping up, bro. Yeah, so how creepy is that? That you got a whole streaming source, an entire streaming source, where oh. you type it in and nothing. Little, t I swear, if there's a hundred videos, I'll be shocked. Bro, I'm 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 trying to see like I, I gotta mess with this some more. I'm kind of intrigued to mess with it some more. Yeah, because now like they have like you see when you go to search, like you said, you're not searching. You can't search for like a game, and I I don't know how I feel about that just yet because like mm -hmm. I said, I gotta play with it because normally I'm used to going to it, typing in the game, and then you see how many people streaming the game or if uh -huh. people are streaming it. It's none of that. Now it's like. All right, well, uh, I can't, I don't know what I want to watch somebody play this specific thing. And it's kind of, I'm not sure if they're, they'll probably, I think they'll it put that in there soon. I don't think you, well, if you scroll see, down, if you scroll down, this is the thing. They're trying to be anti Twitch. Yeah, from what they I are. And, and it really kind of is because you see more yep. names than you see games. Yes, you're advertising the person more than the game. The game is what's yes. obviously giving the person whatever the content. And look at the titles of the games. Like yeah. look at the titles of the streams. So you don't even really like half of the time you don't know what game the person's playing. Hell no. So like like I only see, I see the five like five of the top or three of the top games on here. You see Fortnite. You see Apex. You see Dead by Daylight. Escape mm -hmm. from Tarkov. You see Rainbow Six. XCOM. And then. And it's, then the bit, yeah. See, that's why I want to jump on. I want to play XCOM on there. Yeah. Like, and it, cause I already got XCOM on my PC, is ready to go, mm -hmm. and I can run around and save scum through that. But, like, real talk, I, I truly like it. Um, once again, though, I've only got in two and a half hours. So I'm going to give it the full college try. I'm going to go hard at it. I don't want to put an end date. Um, getting, like, real talk, getting that donation within the first two hours of streaming really let me know like okay if you can come first off that's a little that pat you're me professional on the i mean that's what that thank means. you got paid thank you thank you're you professional thank you. on caffeine. i'm, I'm too well. i'm tooting my own horn here <laughs> i went on to a new platform within two hours and, and convince somebody to give me money over the internet. And look how, and, <laughs> and for everybody listening, <laughs> look how he hasn't said what he got. It could have been two cents. It could have yeah. been two cents. Oh, yeah. And I want to say it was like 50 cents. But I think I, I might have got 50 cents. But even, but even so, even without, even if it was two cents, 
Somebody yeah. watched you enough to give you two cents and you weren't Within expecting first you hours. weren't expecting one view. Thank you. That's the point I'm trying to make. I so, wasn't expecting nobody to watch me. I wasn't expect I was seriously going in more to do a stress test. Yeah. To see how it functioned, how every all the little ins and outs. And then knowing that I can stream through OBS, cool, great. But I want to try it through the app, yeah. which is funny because if you download the app, it's a little box. It pops up. It's it's seriously. Oh, you on, would, you would, oh on, on the, the PC. PC. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's a little it's a little box. You wouldn't even really know what it is, and then it kind of just links up with your computer. It's a lo- and so me streaming through OBS and it was still having my CPU at a low function. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, so their 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 equivalent to bits is gold. Gold and and then there's something like called purple. Props. Yeah, the purple orb. Yeah. Somebody threw some purple orbs at me. So what? Okay, so what happens is you can purchase these things and then oh, they're all called props. So what happens props. is yeah, I got you can, props. You can purchase these props, right? And they mm-hmm. give you like a emote in a sense. So like you can get like a trophy for like three hundred yeah. gold, and then they'll throw the gold. They'll throw the prop at you. And that, in the sense, is like their bit source. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So props are bits. Yeah. So and what's what makes it even better is how user friendly people's Super pages simple. are. It's just yeah, my picture, my background, and then it says I don't share. Even know how to add a different background? Who can at this point? <laughs> I'm like, I keep the default one until some it some looks dope. Came yeah. Up. It's just yeah. say literally it's say share, react, or give. That's all That's it says. It. That's that is it. so Yeah, you can ignore the user, you can report the user, you can like, you can uh you, you can see that they're verified. It's crazy. You can see that they're on air. What is this? I don't know. I'm I'm oh, you can message the person. Yep. That's Watch, cool. go ahead and it, it's a trip. So, so folks, right now, T Jones is act- actively on caffeine. And he's, I don't know if he's watching anybody or whatnot, Okay. but it, it's, it's, so it's I, really folk. If you hear my voice, please, if you hear me right now, please go create an account and follow me. Baron J six, seven, help me be great as usual. Oh, um, this is dope. You can actually share it to Twitter, Facebook, all at once. Right the then link, there. right then yep. there. you just click and share. No external app. Okay. So no. Then you got to like connect. Obviously, you got to connect your Facebook, connect your damn yep, Twitter. Yep. Yeah. Simple. I love the simplicity of it all. Like that's that was the big selling point for me was just how easy and quick it all was. That's and crazy. I'm telling you, 100%, folks, please go and check out Caffeine. Um, funny thing though, we didn't even talk about anything we, we were supposed to talk about. about. Yeah, you know. Um, I mean, we what, we got thirty minutes. We can go ahead and segue, segue. Yeah, segue. We so, plug se- we plug caffeine for thirty minutes. Yeah, I, mean, I can't wait because it's gonna be cool. Because I'm gonna be one of them sponsored dudes. Be playing, uh, to, getting dunked on on 2K. They're gonna be like, "Look, you're sponsored now. You need to go play Offset and Madden." <laughs> like I've never played Madden. Um, oh, I'll so take. Like, the, I'll accept the challenge. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do my best, and I'm gonna spam like quick routes. He gonna be trying to I'm pick run, off all day. Yeah, it's I'm gonna be terrible. Run the ball the whole game. Oh, uh, it's gonna be the longest die. football game. <laughs> <laughs> the old hookbuck special, <laughs> right up the middle. <laughs> Stay God. Hey, bro. Oh, man. oh, that'd be the longest, most gridiron football game <laughs> ever. Hey, could you could you imagine how long NFL games would be nowadays if it was real run heavy? Man, it would be long. It'd be like four hour games, like just because the clock taking forever. Like, bro, y'all, this at least imagine we got runoff. Like, come on, oh, bro. Oh god. Like, <clears throat> wait, what do you mean? Oh. Oh, and uh, on a side note, I've been like reselling like a madman, mm-hmm. folks. Check if out you got plug bu- your eBay. Plug no, it. I'm not plugging my I'm not plugging my eBay. I don't want to be bothered with y'all crazy people. <laughs> uh, but what I will do is tell y'all if y'all got some extra stuff around your house, please sell it. Sell it's it. It's fun. 
Sell it. I, it's, it's fun for me. You know what? You got to come out. You got to come out here and come to this swap me out because I don't know. I they, know y'all got. They stuff. got a gang of pop figures right. out there. They were selling some oh, for like five yeah. bucks, three bucks. So I'm not sure. They're pretty sure they got something that you you would like. This is this is how bad it is. So folks, for me, first it went off. I went on that whole thing of like I got a lot of stuff that doesn't bring me joy like it used to. Mm-hmm. I got a I got a pretty pretty decent collection of stuff. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? It's it's not making me happy like it used to. I I didn't realize I had three rows of pop figures on my on my uh, on my freaking rack. I was like, what the heck? So I took up the ch- the stance and started selling it. But I couldn't just sell it. I went and made it official. I went and designed a logo, created a whole store name, blah blah blah. Locked it behind my business. Mm-hmm. Blase blase. Long story short, it's official as hell. And currently, I just sold something while we were sitting here doing this podcast. Oh, um, a working man. Yeah, I, I you know I do as much as I can. <laughs> um, but let me let me look at my my status right now. I currently have fifteen out of fifteen five star reviews on uh, on Macari. Oh, um, I, yeah. Oh, I take it very serious. And then I don't know how I don't know how many I have on eBay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the point is, I take it so serious. So I went and bought a stack. I bought a couple stacks of stickers from Wish app just to test it out because I didn't know Wish was real. Um, is it, ah, bro? So you really? It's got real. It? It's very real. It's you're, real. you're getting low. You're you're getting low tier stuff. Uh, uh, but like, that that Akatsuki how long it blanket. Take? Well, you're getting it from China. For, for they got stuff that takes like five days. It's got a. It'll have an emblem with the with the van or the truck. Uh-huh. And that means you'll get it within like five days. But for the most part, you're gonna it's gonna be about two three weeks because it's uh-huh. you're you've got to go through customs, their customs, our customs. Uh-huh. Then now you're dealing with the coronavirus stuff, so yeah. it might even take longer. Uh, but I ordered a couple stack of stickers. So what I do is whenever somebody orders something, they get two stickers, and then they get a uh, one of our Adventures of the Black Nerds business cards, uh-huh. and and then I put a thank you post it note. Which I always keep posting notes. If you guys know me, I, I stay with posting notes. Post um, and I I drop a post it note with a handwritten thank you, and then I do the two stickers and a business card. Let me tell you, people eat that shit up. Uh-huh. Packaging. I've I've shipped stuff in like Nike box shoe boxes. <laughs> I've shipped stuff in plastic bags. Yeah, wrapped in like other bags, and then like I, it's so bad. So I found out. That your tax dollars also pays for USPS uh, boxes and envelopes, and you can literally, folks, if you create an account with the USP, the U- United States Postal Service, you create an account, you can go online, you can get free boxes and free packing, everything, anything you can need to mail anything from your house. But the only problem is, only thing, and I didn't know this until after I got it. So it, you, when you use those services, you have to pay that rate. Now, I've heard of people getting around it through wrapping up the boxes and scratching out the logos yeah, and yeah, yeah. flipping them inside, inside out. out. I'm not going to ever recommend that because I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I heard it's illegal. But, yes, those things are available to you if you want to start your own little shipping business. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so bad, though. Every lunch break since I've started, basically since the end of the middle of January, I'm at the Goodwill shopping. Getting stuff, man. Buying, like, today I bought, okay, I picked up a, a Polaroid 300, like, the current model, yeah. uh, instant instant film camera. Uh-huh. 10 bucks. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to sell it for 30. Easy. Yeah. And then I picked up a Christmas edition, or a Christmas special edition Vans, uh, the shoe company Vans, snow globe it was a limited run thing i don't know how this ended up in the in the goodwill i mean clearly somebody donated it Mm -hmm. but those things sell for like 30 bucks online i'm gonna sell it i got it for seven like i'm i'm hooked it's a bug yeah i it looks like a it looks like i have a shipping like it looks semi neat on camera but if this thing panned that way it'd be all toe up (laughs) Oh, bro! Actually, it's it's surprisingly semi neat, but so it's are, just it. So everything yes. you got, you're 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 selling it. 
Or are you no, gonna no, still no, keep no, your no. room? Like, or is it just stuff that you got duplicates? No, of? it's just it's just stuff that I have extra of that I look at, and it don't make me happy. Like, I look at a lot of my Fallout stuff. I'm gonna sell a lot of that. Hmm. Um, but I got a lot of pop figures that I love. Like, I got Steven Universe stuff. Yeah. Um, I got Cowboy Bebop, which is one of my favorite anime of all time. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a couple Naruto stuff. Um, my Destiny figures. I got one of them that sells for like a hundred bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it. Mm. Oh, I really like. Honestly, I love those Destiny figures, like the Hunter, the Titans, yeah, and the Warlock. Man, listen, my room is. I empty. love those. I'm gonna take a picture of my room today and I'm gonna send it to you. And um, God, dude. I get to start decorating, man. I get to start putting everything up. The wife's gonna help. The wife's gonna get everything right for me too. I'm gonna go in there next week. Next week, I start pray. I start painting. So I break ground. I break ground next week. Oh, what color are you gonna do? I'm gonna do like a dark gray because our house is is gray. It's all shades. Got you. So we got, got you. black, grays, and whites. So I'm gonna do a darker gray for in the room, and then I'm gonna light that bitch up, and then I'm gonna put like I want to put like the uh, what's the, the 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 I think like the RBG coloring. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Around yeah. stuff like so. It, it Bro, can, Walmart got those for a great price. Really, I'm, Walmart I'm got a that. gang of stuff on stage, man. I have to walk up out of there today. <laughs> nah, look, let me show you. I don't know for those who, yeah, for those see? who don't know, I'm, I'm rotating my colors right now in my office. I'm, a strict, I'm now we're gonna do hey full movie. screen. It looked dope. Yeah, it, it's full sick. screen. I I'm love looking it. at you. I'm looking Dude, at this you. This was twelve bucks. Yeah, twelve bucks, and it comes with I think like six feet of rope mm-hmm. or six feet of RBG. Um, and then the cool, the dope thing about it is if you buy another one. They link together, and you can you can sync it, can and it, where it'll control. You can when one remote will control all the oh, colors you got. That's crazy. All right, and it even does the light bulb, so it comes with a light bulb and a strip and a remote. It's not like, like twelve. Bucks. It's not like uh, what's that thing like Google Alexa, turn on the light. No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, but I think it'll. I think if you want, you can Bluetooth it to Tune all of that. If okay. you. If you want, yeah. you know, I, I just plug it into my USB uh, strip. Yeah. But, um, you know, of course, all of that's there. All of that is there. Man, you could you could be. In, yeah. Can't wait, man. The wife's excited. Oh, yeah. She's excited. She's more excited to, like, get it done because she she did my first room. So now yep, she gets to do was the dope. second room. And um, it, now it's free reign. Now it's these are permanently going up there unless I take. Them yeah, yeah. So um, she's excited for it. I just. I got to tell her what I want and she's going to get it done for me, man. I can't wait to put up all my loot crate stuff. Like I got yep. everything's in boxes, like perfectly wrapped all of like my street fighter stuff. I got to get a, um, I got to get a, a, a picture frame, like a, a big picture frame, gotcha. I'm flip it inside out. And that's going to be my sticker board. And I'll put mad stickers gotcha. and stuff, man. I can't wait. I'm just yeah, bro. That's what it's all about, man. Make it your space, cause then you'll want to be in there. Yeah, like that. You know me, bro. I buy art. That's another thing too. I kind of want to swap out some of the stuff I got, and um, that's another reason I haven't been to more conferences. See, folks, I go to cons to look at people and to buy art. That's why I go. Mm-hmm. So, bread's been kind of funny, but then also. I don't have the wall space that I used to. So I don't want to go because I would hate to do that to myself. I'd hate to walk past something and not be able I to really get it. want and not be able to. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro. Yeah. I, that would break my spirit. But that's why like, you don't, that's why we won't, we won't be going. To, you don't be going. To yeah, stuff. that's like, why I don't go. Man, I literally said this year is going to be my year to to get right. Catch back up uh, financially, obviously. And then, um, you know, I'm going crazy. It's some. It's still some things I want to do. Like I still want to go to another uh, convention. I still want to, you know, hopefully be able to get into uh, E three this year. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a gang of stuff. But I, you, like you said, we family men too as well. We, you know, we got responsibilities yeah. outside of this, and um, you know, we we got to dictate what's important right now. And what's important for later in the future. Speaking of that, I'm gonna segue yes. into Nintendo real quick because did you know used Pokemon Platinum is selling for brand new? I didn't know that. 
Yes. I didn't know. I didn't yes. know that Gen Four, specifically Gen Four, and even some of their late, their earlier ones, even their later I ones. I was just looking at it, bro. I said, "Y'all about to make me pay fifty bucks for platinum." Well, this is this is the dope thing. If you are even thinking about buying any old DS and uh, any DS games. Uh-huh. Best uh not Best Buy GameStop right now is buy two, having two. buy to get to. So if you were even thinking about it, this would this absolutely like. Do like, you know I, when I already it got ends? all the games I wanted. Do you like, know when Chrono it ends? Trigger? Uh, it's a tax refund thing. I don't know. It Ooh. just happened. It just started. Uh, I want to say it just started yesterday or something like that. Yeah, because I was so. About to but say I'm that. gonna be real. It's if you're folks, if you're hearing this, go check your computer ASAP. GameStop right now. And I did. Yeah, I was and, shocked to see that it was titled tax refund. <laughs> I yeah, said, tax they, refund. They maxing out. They trying to. But you're right because today I bought platinum. I bought platinum, and I bought diamond, and then I ended up getting pearl and black free. So that's mm-hmm. all of the Gen threes except for Soul Silver, and which I don't really care about Soul Silver or or disrespect. Go. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so disrespectful. I don't, man. I don't. It's Soul Silver is better than Gen Four. Gen Four. Gen Four Pokemon only had two. I don't fire think types. I ever played. I don't think I even played Gen Four games. Okay, so I told you I wanted to to touch on Pokemon for a bit. Um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, two thousand eighteen, I decided to start my living decks. Like, it's something I, that's I borrowed your DS since two thousand eighteen. I still got. It. Yeah, he, it's been he two years. It. I still got this man's DS. Um, 3DS. His 3DS. Sorry about that. So, this last week I bought a used DS. Let me show. Let me show y'all. I bought a used DS Lite. It had to have been a light because I needed this thing, the the GBA yep. Game Boy Advance. So you can cartridge. play DS and yep and Game Boy Advance games. And then I spent the last. I'm sorry, that was two weeks ago. I spent the last two weeks looking for Pokemon Platinum used. I couldn't find that anywhere. So I had to buy it off GameStop, like I said. Well, I am I have Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 decks completed. And I did Gen Damn. 3 through Omega Ruby. So you got a mill tank. Yeah, I got a mill tank. I got a mil, I got a <laughs> Gen 2 mill tank from the virtual oh. country from the virtual co- uh copies. Remember, you got crystal. You got crystal on yeah, yours. Yeah. So, you know, you locked in with that. You could play that. Um, so, but then Pokemon home came out. Now I remember, I think last episode or two episodes ago, we talked about how Pokemon is getting DLC. Now yes. it may, it, it finally made sense for me why they did it this way because Pokemon home came out. Pokemon home is their upgrade, super upgrade to Pokemon bank. Pokemon yep. home also rewards you for completing the national decks. So you complete the national decks, which is over 900 Pokemon. They give you a altered colored Lagerna, which is a Gen 6 Pokemon. Uh, um, a Gen 6 mythical Pokemon. And she's altered color. So it's a, it's not even a shiny. It's just she's red. It looks pretty cool. So now I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm on a mission to not only complete my living decks, all original OTs, which I messed up. I got to replay uh, yellow and red because my tail decided to make the OT for re- yellow Ash instead of my name. I don't know why I always do that. Oh. So I got to replay that. Or I think what I'm going to end up doing is just breeding. Well, no, I got to replay it because I want that Game Boy to say tile yeah, the emblem. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, that's another thing, folks. Like, I watched, I read a whole article. This guy did a whole article on his Charizard that he had since Gen One, mm-hmm. since Red. So, and he he carried over in the in in his Pokemon Home. Yeah, it has all the badges, all the all the ribbons. every region. Man, I didn't know that. So what happens yep. is you transferred. If anybody had the cartridges and you traded your Pokemon up, you went through that. Um, your your Pokemon actually got ribbons from being transferred up and then yep. there were specific like unspoken of ribbons unless you were like looking for them 
So they had one where if you transferred a Pokemon from a specific generation and then you gave you leveled it up 30 levels, you got a ribbon for it. But you wouldn't know that unless you were like looking for it. So there's people out there with like their their special one and only Pokemon that they love and then they'll never give up that has all the ribbons from Gen 1 yes. all the way up to Gen 7. So um that's where I'm at with it now. I just wanted to touch on how Nintendo killing the market out here got people paying top dollar for, for they use games that I could go yeah. download off for em, on an emulator and play. Not saying that I do that. I'm just saying that you can. Yeah, you well, know, people, those you know, things are out is, there. Is but dead, no, people. but it's crazy how one decision can instantly change a market. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like for me, I've been on the hunt for some classic Advance Game Boy Advance games, and um, shout out to Three Bit Gaming. Uh, they're out of uh, they're out of the uh, I believe the Pomona swap meet. We gotta go Gino one day. Meet. We gotta go. I went. Yeah, I went. I went. I took because okay. So we have. Let me break it down. We got two DS lights, and a OG DS. Mm -hmm in this house right now my girls are hooked on their ds's both of them it's pretty funny <laughs> oh they they um, got one yeah that's i finally did it i put some games in my kids and that's what's up and it's so funny because they instantly like throw away all their toys <laughs> like it, it's wild how quickly it went from oh let me play with my doll to daddy can i play my game mm -hmm. i know the feeling man savannah in there playing uh PlayStation right now playing Sonic see, and Mighty Nine right now. See, like it is is wild, and I didn't realize how happy it was gonna make me. Mm -hmm. Like I am proud. Yeah, it it it, make, it it makes me feel so good. Now I'm a little nervous though because the next thing is you know like all things things evolve. Yeah, I don't. I uh, it would really bother me. If I was like gaming and then they walk in like, oh, I want to play with you. Like, <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't share very well. That's why I got you your console. You got your they console. Missed, they missed that era. I yeah. Today was the first, because um, we got, I got a PlayStation strictly for the family. So like they can, gotcha. you know, watch their stuff and whatever. And uh, so today was the first day that she had to, because the, the controllers died. So she uh, had to sit in on the chair in front of the TV. Her my son, her brother, sitting next to her with the broken controller. <laughs> he only he only <laughs> one. He about to be two. <laughs> sitting there, think he thinking he playing, <laughs> and yeah. she up there running up and down trying to learn the buttons and trying to get better at the game. But it's. It was a beautiful thing. It made me so happy. I took pictures. I don't. Yeah. My wife was the one taking. I'm taking pictures. I'm laughing. I'm yeah. cooking. And man, I, I it made me happy. But like you said, if you don't share well. I got my. I got a whole room where you can't come in here. <laughs> Sorry, you can't do this. Y'all go play that. If but if she, if we do want to play together, I don't. She can't come play on mine. Yeah, go yeah, play yeah. on your. We play on, on there. On that one. Yeah. You know, she want to play Dragon Ball Z. So I put Dragon Ball Z on there. And she's like, oh, daddy, come play. All right, let me get my controller and I'll come play with you out there. You're not yeah, coming you in come here. Get, you can go, come get this work. <laughs> hey, so, hey, no, so check this out. Uh -huh. So I didn't know, I, I don't know why, but the first game I gave Kristen, my oldest, I gave her Mario Kart, the DS version. Ooh, okay. Bro, she loves it. Yeah. She's terrible at it. But she loves it. <laughs> why are and we like? Why are we doing this to our kids? I gave her the first game she had was Crash Bandicoot, the racing game. <laughs> See, and that's why I was like, why did I do that? Because mm -hmm. this is a first off, it's a complicated game. Yes, it, it it's is. a driving game. Yes, it is. You're driving. Mm -hmm. Anything driving is complicated. For I'm us. trying so to teach her how to boost. Real. Or right. right out the gate, and I'm gotta realize that she's only five. Like, there's no, I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then that whole concept, like, it's funny seeing it. Like, they oh, so I gotta hold this button, but then I gotta hold this button yeah. to make my person go where mm -hmm. I want them to. So she's she's using parts of her brain that she ain't had to yeah. like that. Yeah. And then she's a she's tapping a. And I was like, no, baby, just hold A. And A is the gas. And yeah. she was like, I am. And I'm like, no, you're tapping. She was like, look, I'm going. And I'm like, no, 
you're not. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Are you having fun? She's like, yes. Yep. And I was like, That's there it. you go. That is Enjoy it. yourself. I had to I had to let go and let God. That's what I told my yeah, wife. Yeah, because I was low-key getting frustrated. I was like, you're trash. Yeah, that's <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was, Give me the sticks. I was roasting my wife. I was like, you act like you suck. Ooh, boo. But you're right. As long as that they're happy playing it, they don't have to be yeah. good. I'm not expecting them to be the no. world's number one player. They're happy. They're content. They ain't tearing up nothing. I'm fine with that. I had to walk away and let her play. Pulled out the DS and just kicked my feet up on the couch. And she didn't say a word to me. She didn't ask me for help. I had to ask her, do you need my help? And she said, yes. Yep. But she didn't want it. So I just, what I told myself and what I, even what I told my wife, I was like, leave her alone. Let yep. her figure it out. Because think about it. she'll really understand when it. When your mom and your dad bought you a console, any game, did they teach you how to play? Hell no. Exactly. But you knew but you knew it had to be done. At <laughs> I some get point, here. I knew what I was doing. You know, she plays Sonic and all I could tell her was just keep going to the right. Yep. That's all I told her. Just keep going to the right. Pick up coins and keep going to the right. I didn't tell her how to kill nothing, how to jump on nothing, how to activate the boxes, how to do the how to do the special events. Just keep going to the right, baby. She got it all the way to Dr. Robotnik stage one. I was like, okay. Are you serious? Yeah, she did. Just keep going to the right. (laughs) Keep going to the right. And then I had to tell her what the springs are and how to, to do it. And then it was like she got the Robotnik and she needed help. So that's when I came in and Eggman had to die. Yeah. <laughs> Down with Eggman. Yeah. But it, it's, you know, dude, it, it's uh, it's really cool. And then at the same time, like, I was like, damn. And now, so she's playing that. Mm-hmm. And then they're playing, like, those movie, those cartoon games. Like, oh, okay. she, she's into... Um, what is that? Monster High. So there's a Monster High game, and then I got them like a Hello Kitty game. Okay. But what's crazy is I thought those were gonna be like easy. Yeah. Those are like role playing games. Mm-hmm. Like she's walking around like, Daddy. So what's the mix I gotta make in order to make the item? And I was like, <laughs> uh, I said cheats.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cheats. Cheats. Like, oh, dude. I remember the days of having papers, stacks of GTA cheat codes. Grant that father was and the one, man. Man, I had so many. I remember printing stuff out and just having it like, okay, what do I got to do? Mm-hmm. Like, it oh. is. It's... I, you know what? I had to, I just was having this conversation about like, if I'm not, I need. If I'm not entertained by, if I love the game, but I'm not entertained it by the difficulty of it, I got to do something that makes it extreme. So what I used to do in Grand Theft Auto 3, because I beat Grand Theft Auto 3 just on on the strength. Like it was just Yeah, I don't, I don't remember using cheat codes. You for know, Grand exactly. Theft Auto 3. But once you did beat it, it was like, or you got to like the last level, because I was always scared if I completed the last level that I would, it would start all over. Yeah. So I never completed the last mission, never did it. And what I would do is um, I would just go and get my stars up. Then you, then I learned, oh, there's a, there's a star cheat cup, man. I'm racking up the stars. I got the tanks after me and my objective. My thing was trying to stay alive. Who can stay alive the longest? Yep. So we would just max the stars out and then we would just go and whoever stayed alive the longest, that's what it was. And, and that's how we played. But Grand Theft Auto didn't get hard until Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4 was hard. That was yep. the, the, the New York one when you well, played as I would the say Russian, San right? Andreas. You think San, San Andreas? You know what? It wasn't that hard, but it had, like me, I didn't. I don't think I ever beat San Andreas because I didn't, I couldn't get past the, uh, the flying stuff. Yeah. I was terrible. <laughs> At that damn airplane where you were flying, like crop dusting or whatever. You know what? When I tell you, I put the controller down, Mm -hmm. down. See, I'm done. I like stuff like that because there's always that one mission in the game. That always that one mission. Follow the train, CJ. (laughs) Oh yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I do. See, 
those missions were the ones that ma that made me continue doing it because it was always like, yo, this is impossible. There's no way to do this. So what do you do? You go on the internet, <laughs> cheat that, you know, before YouTube, before, you know, you could watch yeah. and see somebody else do it. You just I had to, I had to double check. Like, yo, is there really a way to beat this? And then when you beat it though, it was like instant save. Like I ain't never doing it again. Yeah. Don't call Bro. me. <laughs> but you know what, man? I'm stubborn. I'm. I don't even know if you want to call it stubborn, mm -hmm. but I have no problem saying, "Fuck it." Yeah. If, <laughs> because I'm, that's not I'm the game you are. I. I yeah. I, you have to realize that there's different types of gamers, like completionists yeah. and people who like challenges can do the same thing over and over. And over again until they do it. Like when you think about Destiny, why do you think Destiny has a speed running community where these people do the same thing over and over? Not because oh yeah, because oh yeah, we we got to a point but we were two seconds behind. Start over. Yeah. Yep. Me, you, I'm if I if it's I'm a completionist and I would love to try things like that, but I just don't have people that want to try that, or at least none of my friends want to try that. You need a team, yeah, to do some stuff like that. But imagine that's just a then you have people like you and me, or like you, where it's like I play on easy, man. I ain't about to sit here and stress myself well, out. Or now let me you know now let saying? me tell you this. What I've and learned, I'm, and I'm not knocking anybody that play on. Easy, oh no, no, no! And that. I, first off, I don't play on easy. Don't disrespect me oh, like that. God, you um, know, just letting you know, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get that out the way first. But what I what I've come to realize is certain types of games have gotten too easy for me. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard for me to really enjoy Pokemon anymore. Really? It it's hard, bro. Oh, that's I, I picked up, I picked up the new one. And I played it. I didn't even make it out of the. Uh, I don't think I made it to the first badge. Yeah, I'm. I got a newfound love for Pokemon because of the difficulty in it. Because these trainers oh, are smart trainers. But not only that. See, well, I don't know about that part. Yeah. The thing you know what got me is having the actual Pokemon run at me. That bothered me <laughs> oh. for some reason. <laughs> like, not not that it was They're hard. Like, but, but it, it was no mystery anymore. They said, uh, like, yeah, the magic now you can be attacked. Now you can be attacked. Yeah, they was like, oh, you want to come out here, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's like 16 machokes <laughs> out there flexing. You, like, should, you should watch the YouTube videos with the dudes. I did. Where like, ah! they're, they're trying to breathe and they're running, they're riding the bike, trying to breathe. And then just some wild animals just. <laughs> <laughs> just chasing them. Hey, it's hey, it's creepy. It's hilarious. Hey, it it's but I'm me, I'm in the mindset of I just wanna you know what it was? They mixed Pokemon Go and Eevee, Pikachu, yeah, whatever let's game that go. was. Let, just the let's go. Let's go they Pikachu, mixed that Eevee and Go. It, Those are the ones he's talking about. Yeah, and they or mixed and that the new into, ones, the new ones they can chase you guys in too. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. Into yeah. the new game, that's uh -huh. what they've made. Like yeah. they took those aspects. Mm -hmm. And I'm not against it. It just there was a it was a wonder behind what scrolling I was through a, a field of grass. Yeah. And then all of a sudden dun, 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 and then all of a sudden you would hear the Pokemon noise and you probably hear a Ratata. But, it, but you <laughs> like, I believe they did that for the the casual gamer. And, and yeah, the it younger was people, casual. because because yeah, and, and that's when I had to put my hands up. Yeah, because see, the joy, I don't. I, it was hard for me to enjoy it, bro. But you also see. <laughs> excuse me. Woo. But, so thank you. Um. So with the the, ne the next thing you got to understand is that Pokemon is truly online now. So yeah, you know. Every this is why I don't believe I believe that they should all they if they're gonna come out with two titles right like a sword and a shield, it should be a dedicated amount of Pokemon that are version exclusive. It shouldn't be a whole region one over here and then another whole region over here. Why? Because all I gotta do is jump on the GTS, post this Bulbasaur whatever it is. And yeah. say, hey, I need this. And um, and somebody who got 
an extra because they were breeding them or whatever. It's, it's gonna, gonna say, happen. I got one. Let me give this dude one. Or oh, hey, I need a Bulbasaur. Yep. Now I'm gonna get traded one. Heavy. You know what I'm saying? So technically, if you're gonna buy, like if you're gonna buy a a, a new Pokemon game, you only need one. You don't yeah. need two. If you're anal like or if you're anal about anal. like the OT, the OT trainer name, then you could trade for one, breed it. Now that one got your OT name on it. You don't have yeah. to worry about using anybody else's. That's what I did when I was playing. I was playing Oris. I've been playing Oris. That's that's the Gen 3 game I decided to play. I did not want to go back and play Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. I was not doing it. So I got those games and I I played one copy. I'm playing the second copy now because I want duplicates of all the, the legendaries. That's the only think, reason why I'm playing it. I think I enjoyed Ruby. Ruby is Gen 3 was the best to me. Was the best to me. I think and, I think yeah. I did enjoy Ruby. That's with um, Blaziken, Trico, and Mud. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed the heck out of that. Mm-hmm. And then fighting the uh, Aqua and Magma. Yeah. Is that Aqua and yeah, Magma? Yeah. 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 I, the new, yeah, I enjoyed that. The new ones um are great. The Oris and and the uh or the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they're great. They're really they're really good games to get back into, especially now that, like for example, you know me. So say you get it, or say I loan you one, and yeah, yeah. I could just jump on my other copy, breed the Pokemon you want to play with, and you can go play with just those. So you don't have to. That's another thing. You don't have to say, oh, I'm gonna go catch the six that I want to carry to the, all the way to the um the Pokemon League. Gotcha. Nah. Nah, it's 2020. Just let me give you what you need. I can give you all level ones. Yeah. And then you can just play on up. Hey, you know what? I got to... Um, basically, what I had to do, I had to force myself to use Pokemon I wouldn't use. Like... Mm, okay. Because I get, I get way too strategic with it. Yeah. I literally ran in with a... Um, not nah, what was his damn name? A drowsy. Yeah. So I'd put the Pokemon. I would hit. I would hit him with a confusion or something. Mm-hmm. Bring him down, and then I'd hit him with hypnosis, mm-hmm. and then catch him. And catch him. Yeah. It was like it was. It was like boom, boom. It's boom. You boom. boom. And I almost feel like I got to do the Nuzlocke challenge. You like, have to. You have to. I I, I have I to try have it, to. but I'm I'm going to try. It. I want to try it on like uh. Not let's go. I'm I'm not playing. That. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather I'm not playing, playing Mongo if I got to play. Let's go. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna. I want to do the Nuzlocke challenge with Gen three, but not so Oris. I want to do it with like Emerald, like the Game Boy Advance game. Got you. Yeah. Well, oh folks, I didn't realize we were at that time. Yeah, but let me tell you guys what Nuzlocke challenge is. Mm-hmm. First off, I recommend you go look it up because I'm about to butcher it. Um. But Nuzlocke Challenge is basically an extremely weird and hard way. It adds a real big level of difficulty to mm-hmm. a super challenge. easy game. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it's something along the line of every Pokemon you catch, you got to put into your rotation or something like that. Yeah, so or... they have different ones. So they have yeah, like, yeah. like the basic form of Nuzlocke is like any Pokemon you catch... Um, it's your Pokemon. If it dies, you can't use that Pokemon no more. And then you can't re yeah, that got... Pokemon. But yep. there's Nuzlocke challenges where you can only catch one Pokemon per route that you go on. Yeah. So, like, for example, this I watched a guy do a Nuzlocke for Let's Go, and he really wanted a Charmander. So what he had to do was use a gang of repels and just stand in the corner until a Charmander came up. He was there for like an hour. And then he yeah, seen the Charmander and just rushed it, and then he caught it, and then he brought yeah. his, he brought that. But normally it only goes up to getting the eight badges. He did it all yeah. the way through the Pokemon League, and he lost. And his, it adds he lost a his, whole. Oh. Like, no, I was just gonna say he lost his Pikachu, he lost his uh, Pidgeot, and then he lost one other Pokemon, Ooh. but he still won. And that, but that was it basically the end of the It it basically turns Pokemon into Dark Souls. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy. You really, it you you start sweating like oh crap he did a critical on my what's it called yeah. like you really you it adds a whole new level of difficulty and I'm truly at that point where I need to I need to add some challenge like first off I think the first thing I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go Nuzlocke I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do that um 
I think what I'll do is one go in and absolutely work to catch every Pokemon mm. I can. Bruh, I can't, um, I can't wait. Pokemon home, dog. <laughs> hey, oh God, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> Hey, but no, but folks, really, I'm I'm just glad to be back. We yeah. are going to be a lot more consistent. You yeah. know, our schedule switched up. Yeah, things my my schedule is changing. I'm gonna talk to you after this. Yeah, yeah, uh, we'll talk. Um, things things have gotten a lot easier, so we are going to be here and more often. And shout out to Tone and the fam. Tone, def- haven't talked to y'all network. in a minute, but y'all the family. Man, Much appreciate love, y'all. Man. appreciate y'all, man, for real. Um, and just all the links below, make sure to check it out. Please subscribe to this channel and then subscribe anywhere you're listening to us. If you're on Spotify, make sure to follow Tone Deaf Network. Please. If you're seeing us on iTunes or Apple Music, follow us there. Spreaker, YouTube, anywhere you're listening to us right now. And just all of our personal button. links are below as well. And yep. stay tuned for caffeine. Stay yeah, tuned. We'll be doing a, Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of caffeine stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. And we are out. Peace. Peace.